everybody, welcome to another episode of Philly Bad Boys Corner. Today we have former Major League Baseball player, coach, National Manager of the Year, and current Autumn Champions Manager, Alan Muir. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Uh, what's the biggest transition from being a player to now a coach? Well, I had the experience of, you know, coming up through the Cardinal organization. I managed five years with them in a minor league and then coach at the Major League level. And then, uh, you know, got the Houston Astros job as a manager. So, you know, it was just dealing with the pitching staff, with players, different personalities, and that's about it. Uh, what gave you more satisfaction, winning this World Series in 1982 or being named the National Manager of the Year in 1986? Well, I, I'd have to say 1982 because there are not a lot of ball players that get a, you know, World Series ring. And, you know, I was very fortunate to be under Whitey Herzog and, you know, 1982, we won it. We beat Milwaukee. In 1985, we lost to Kansas City. So we got a National League, National League ring also. So that was very important. You know, uh, something that every ball player dreams of. You know, getting a World Series ring. What's the toughest team you ever played against as a player and a manager? Well, as a player, probably the Dodgers, uh, because we always had the, the big rivalry between the, the Giants out in San Francisco and the Los Angeles Dodgers. But there were a lot of good teams back, you know, in my area. You know, Pittsburgh had a great ball club. Uh, the Mets coming into, you know, the National League had a lot of young, good ball players, and you know, they went on to become, you know, Hall of Famers like Nolan Ryan. Uh, from now on, in the 1960s, how do you think the game has changed? Well, probably money-wise, uh, players are stronger now. Uh, back in my era, you, you got in shape when you went to spring training, and nowadays, you better be in shape when you go to spring training, but uh, it's a little bit different. You know, you have probably uh, players that work out more. Uh, they got uh, better facilities with the weight rooms and stuff like that, but uh, we had some great players. I wouldn't take it away from, uh, you know, not playing in my era now. Uh, what has been the biggest change uh, in the players? Well, I think money-wise, um, you know, some players, uh, you know, you, you look at Derek Jeter, you never know that he made all the money that he did. He, he was just an ordinary ball player, um, a great ball player, and he just, you know, probably uh, was a very good outside the game for the New York Yankees. And you see a lot of players that you know don't want to do public things to help their ball club. And that, when I played, you know, you, it was required to do it probably more so during the winter time than the summertime. But uh, that's probably the biggest change because of the money situation. The last question: What advice would you give to a player who would want to become a coach? Well, I think that the best advice is you know is listen to the the, the manager that you're under, um, get his thoughts. You know, like when I did with Whitey Herzog, I listened to what he had to do. I knew the game inside and out. Um, I listened to him, how he handled the pitching staff. And I think that's one of the most important uh, things that you have to learn, um, being a manager, how to run your, your pitching staff. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Very good.